हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माई नेम इज बलराम प्रसाद इन आई एम वर्किंग विथ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज ए सीनियर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन एनालाइज इमेज विद अजूर ए आई विजन स्टूडियो एंड अजूर ए आई फाउंड्री सो अजूर ए आई विजन स्टूडियो इज ए पोर्टल वे आर डिफरेंट टेम्पलेट रिलेटेड टू इमेज इज प्रोवाइडेड एंड वी कैन क्रिएट कॉगनेटिव सर्विसेज एंड ट्राई टू सी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट यूज केसेज वी कैन अचीव यूजिंग इमेज एंड वी विल ट्राई टू यूज कपल ऑफ टेम्पलेट इन दिस डेम लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर द कॉमन ऑब्जेक्ट इन इमेज एज वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू डिटेक्ट फेस एज एंड अदर थिंग्स एंड ऑल दिस टेम्पलेट इज नाउ सपोर्टेड इन टू अजूर ए आई फॉन्ड बेस सर्विसेज सो अजूर ए आई फॉन्ड बेस सर्विसेज इज ए प्लेटफॉर्म विच प्रोवाइड्स अस टू प्ले विथ ऑल द ए आई रिलेटेड ऑफरिंग्स प्रोवाइडेड बे अजूर विद डिफरेंट things like we can deploy any models we can create agents we can play with azure ai services in terms of uh, images video or um, text or ocr lot of different things we can achieve with that one so before we go to demo let's see that what are the different use cases could be for image analysis we can use for smart cameras where we can configure some photos where only those people are allowed to come inside rest if anybody else is coming there will be alert we know that in the field of robotics and drones uh, image analysis is required we also can build some worker safety applications where we can use the image and video analytics for construction site we also know that there are a lot of tra traffic cameras that are installed and doing image processing we can do for similar thing for stores and other things lot of people come for shopping we can detect that who are required for assistant and other things we can do that we can use this one into insurance processing we can do for social listening so there are tons of huge cases for image analysis that's why we have to know that how to use into first how to play with that one what are the different res json responses is going to be from api you know whatever we are going to see with template same thing we can achieve with sdk with the help of any language whatever language you prefer you can use that sdk in this demo we are going to see uh, the template provided into vision studio and foundry services but that are the basic template there will be many more complex scenario we can achieve with sdk and your preferred languages if you are want to use c sharp if you want to use python you can do that one so let's go into demo so for this demo we are into azure portal but we are not going to leverage this azure portal instead we are going to use another portal created for vision related features so let me go with vision studio and if i type vision studio we can find that so we can go for vision studio and if we go to vision studio this is the url portal.vision.cognitive.azure.com when we land to this portal we see that there are varieties of template provided by microsoft to play with vision related features right suppose we wanted to do something with uh, optical character right uh, we want we have some image or you have taken some image for receipt or something and you want to extract the text from image right that also we can do if you wanted to detect faces in image how many faces are there what is the location of faces right if suppose you are building some application where you want to have that hey, somebody is authentication by live not the picture showing the picture and authentication it should be live right so that liveness detection we can do we can do photo id match matching with the person suppose some application has given that feature where we can upload our id such as driving license and other things and you want it to do with the photo id matching with your backend data that also you can do and there are other example also that if you wanted to retrieve video and somebody from that one you can do that so there are different template provided so in this video we are going to play with face and image and then same thing we are can do with azure foundry portal right we will go and see in the foundry portal that how we can detect faces so it will be kind of comparison between this portal vision portal and then that portal also before we go and try with this feature and template let's go and see that how many resources which we have for this models right so we have one resources right now created for us and if we go and try to see uh, from ai services 
we can see that this is created and this was created long back for one of the demo so i will go ahead and create one more so that we can see how to create this resource so let's see that and we can select the subscription and resource group let me put that in resource group here and pricing tier so we will go for s0 let's go for that so this is how we can create that azure ai resources which is type of cognitive services which can be used later so let's go back and let's go to face and let's try it out and you can see that uh, we can see that this is going to charge my account so that's okay and if we go and see that images so if i select that resources right we go into which resources we have to select that's how that thing that which resource it is going to incur the charges right so we just created this resource so i'm going to confirm that one and then again it is asking for that so let's see that now it is going to see that hey, there is no face mask and other attribute we can see that where is the face uh, into this image and how to do that one location and other things so all we can see i have done downloaded couple of more images where we can see and if you see that because it says that there is no mask let's see that with mask it is able to detect mask on picture or not right so it says that hey mask is yes and uh, where is that it is covered it is covered nose and mouth yes so that's how if we were in the covid area that's how you can build some application based on that right and let's see another example where we can see that thing there is no mask let me upload some photo here so i have this photo where we can see that right there is some more store camera and images is there so let's see let me upload that photo and we will go and load and see that how it detects right so it is detecting there is one face there is no mask right so and other things also we can see depending upon face recognition it is saying where is the eye nose all the details it is saying that which place i node and other things there right let's see another example where two faces are there right so now if you see uh, this is detected face one and face two and face three is also there no mask right and if you see that where is the face one uh, nose mouth and other things it is going to display all the details so that's how we can figure out how many people are there in image and how many people has uh, having different attribute right so let's see another example where something is hidden so now if we see that one there are two peoples but both faces are not we can cannot see into picture so no faces is detected so this is how we can detect faces from azure and this is one of the feature and whatever we are able to see here we have azure sdk provided so if you wanted to integrate with c sharp or you are building some application with python or any other language then you can integrate that api and you can play with that one now if you suppose you you somebody is uploading picture and if you wanted to um, add captions to that uh, to image right let's play with that uh, now we can see that after this image selection we can see that it is generating the caption for this image it is saying that a group of cow grazing in the field same way if we select another thing so we can see that caption will be generated so we can see that a man jumping on a skateboard is coming as a caption we can select another things sandwich coffee in a half we can browse you know, our own thing and we can see that what it is generating so woman and girl in a grocery store so that's how we can generate the captions of image now if we go for another options like now if you suppose if you wanted to detect what are the different common object in image then we can go and see that let's select this image then it says that hey in this image there are person which has probability of this one and then this second person is probability of that and subway train if you select another image then we can see that uh, there are footwears there are person laptop sitting and person all this is coming so this is how we can detect what are the different object in image and if you see lot of uh, storage is moving towards automated checking so that's how we can detect what are there into that shopping cart and other things.
now suppose let's go to uh, what are the different tags we can find into this image other images so tagging also we can find so there are a lot of different templates provided for different use cases and then we can use that one now let's go to azure ai font -based services let's see how we can do similar thing over there so we had created one foundry services in one of the demo uh, how to create foundry you can see in our playlist and then let's go to our foundry hub right uh, so let's launch that azure ai foundry portal and once we load to that one it will go to our hub ai hub and then in ai hub we had created this project earlier in uh, other demo you can see in our playlist once we go to that project and go to project this project is saying that what models and other things we created and we created for deep seek demo so you can see that and we will go to project section once we come to this project uh, portal and project portal we have seen how to create this in point and other things and how to deploy model into one of the videos now we will go to ai services section and in ai services section we can see that there are different options provided speech playground and other things and we will slowly see that speech related things also in this one because we were playing with vision related thing in that earlier vision studio right so now let's go to this option because we were playing with vision right so in vision section now if you see we have different options and different template provided with play with document and there are different template for image and face right so this is the same thing they have uh, now can bring all this feature to one place which is foundry so we can go and if you see same image and other things is provided to this foundry portal so now foundry portal is only one place where you can play with all the things so whatever feature is different ai is providing we can go and play with that thing so this is the same example which we did just now in using vision studio we can do similar things from here also so the same example same backend and other things which being used right and then if we go and if we see that image we did same image captioning right image captioning common object detection and other things we can do and if we go and see that same example is given right so let's go back and try a few more template and let's go and let's try common object detection where we can select the image and image that this is going to provide what are the different objects which we have image with the, whatever percentage is there for confidence and other things so we can see all the details are coming we can also play with the uh, tag instruction so we can select the image and it is going to provide different tag associated with uh, that image what are the different uh, object are there and other things so that also we can see and if you see there are some limited number of template provided instead of vision studio so vision studio provides more template this this is less but if you see this other image analysis capability if you click right now it will take us to vision portal right now so might be the this all are going to come over there or might be both are going to continue both portal are going to continue and hence that's why i covered in this video so this is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope that you will like this video and if you like then please share and subscribe and share with your colleagues also thank you